Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Oshali here, and today's video I just wanted to do the Netflix book tag. This is the perfect Netflix season. It's cold outside in a lot of the places where we live. I know some of y'all are experiencing summer or spring, but in a lot of the places right now it is cold and it is the perfect time to cozy up with a blanket and some tea, some popcorn, some dinner. It's, you know, it's a Netflix. It's Netflix and chill season, so I thought that I would do this tag and kind of also talk about some books that I may not have talked about previously on this channel. If you hear some crazy noises, as always, it's just Teddy having a great time ruining lives as usual in the background. All right, so number one. Oh, before I forget, this tag was originally done by a darker shade of Whitney, so she is the originator of this tag. Just want to give her credit, and I will link her video in the description box. Number one, recently watched. The last book you finished reading. Okay, so I have been reading like a crazy person on my Kindle. I would say the last book I finished reading I actually listened to and that is the audiobook for My Sister the Serial Killer by Yinkin Braithwaite, which I did discuss in my book club's live chat or live show discussing it so I will link that right now so definitely go check out our January book of the month live show for a seat at the table book club I will link that right above also I finished quite a few books recently that I wanted to talk about because as you guys know I love introducing you to new authors and I especially love um, self-published authors and indie authors so some other books that I've really enjoyed recently there's a series that I fell in love with I think it was last year early last year I think I discovered the series and I'm not sure what it's called I think it's called the Denver Rebel series the author is Maureen Smith and she writes interracial couples so and it follows a um, a team of hockey players the Denver Rebels and so the males are white and the females are black so it's interracial love stories I really really enjoy these books and so she came out with the latest in the series and I was so excited because I've been waiting almost a year or it feels like it's been over a year for this particular book. So I was super excited for it. I finished it, oh my gosh, almost in one sitting. I took a break from it to finish My Sister the Serial Killer. Another book that I'm this close to finishing that I probably will finish within the next 10 to 20 minutes after I finish this filming this video is Let Me Free You, which is the third and final book in the McLean Brothers series by Alexandria House. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite contemporary like romance series. Again, Alexandria House is another African-American author that writes about black love stories, black love, so important to me. So that's another book that I just finished recently. And yeah, so those are the two other two books I wanted to spotlight. Number two, top picks. Books that have been recommended to you based on books you've previously read. Um, sorry about that, my camera cut off, but where was I? Oh yeah, books that have been recommended to me based on books I've previously read. One series is actually one that I decided to go ahead and pick up, and that is the Three Dark Crown series. I think that's what you, the name of the series is. If I'm not mistaken, look at me like going through all my electronic devices trying to figure it out. But I want to say it's Three Dark Crowns is the name of the series, I think. But that's been recommended to me by numerous people, and I just recently started reading it. Also, I want to say... I'm trying to think what else has been recommended to me. Honestly, I can't even think right straight right now. I feel like so many recommendations. I will post some more covers up here if I can think of anything else. But yeah, I get a ton of recommendations all the time. Number three, recently added, the last book you bought. Hmm, the last book I bought. I recently just put in a, a pretty substantial order on Amazon that I haven't unboxed yet because <laughs> that's literally me. I just have packages just sitting around for weeks. But I would say the last book I recently bought is probably Unforgivable Love by Safrina Scott. That is the Read So Lit book for the year for this Black History Month. So I haven't started it yet. I'm planning on starting it at some point tomorrow. I want to get like pretty well deeply into it by this Saturday because I will be participating in Black Chat which um, Dee Dee over at Brown Girl Reading is doing this amazing thing for this Black History Month uh, this year called Black Chat and 
every Saturday this month she's hosting a bunch of us black booktubers on to talk about just different things black booktube the books that we're reading books that we're recommending all sorts of wonderful wonderful good stuff so I'm not sure when this video will be posted but if this video is posted after my episode of black chat airs then I will go ahead and link it right up here if not I will link Dee Dee's channel also in the description box so you can go and check out my episode but I will be on there on Feb Saturday February 16th so I'm really excited to meet other booktubers black booktubers and just just build a strong community chat with everyone I'm, I'm, I'm super hyped but yeah so that was the last book I bought I bought it on ebook on my Kindle so if I'm looking down so that's what I'm looking at I've got like all the devices up here okay so number four popular on Netflix books that everyone knows about Two you've read and two you have no interest in reading. Hmm. Wow. Again, this is a tough one. I feel like a lot of the popular books that are discussed here on BookTube, a lot of them are young adult books. And I haven't been reading a lot of young adult recently. Um, around this time last year, everyone was talking about The Cruel Prince, which I read and loved. The Wicked King just came out, so there's been some buzz about that. I have not read that yet. Ooh another popular book this is harder than I thought um, children of blood and bone I've read that uh, another popular one I have not read anything by Adam Silvera I have read I might pick it up I, I mean I feel like he is a little overhyped but I also feel that I should probably read one of his books and form an opinion for myself so number five comedies a funny book uh, a lot of funny books for me tend to be biographies um, I'm gonna need more wine by Gabrielle Union definitely made me smile um, the last unicorn by Tiffany Haddish and I'm not a Tiffany Haddish fan by any means but I do feel that her life story is really really something like she has overcome a lot to get to where she is a lot of tragedy and yet her book still manage to be really really funny and poignant at the same time so yeah I find a lot of the funny books that I read are nonfiction books and I highly recommend both of those audiobooks because they're both read by the authors Tiffany Haddish reads hers and Gabrielle Union reads hers and it's just it's great also let's see if there are any more than I can think of any fiction funny fiction books I can't think of any right off the bat I feel like the last fiction book I really laughed at was another audiobook and it was the it was another series y'all know I can't remember nothing so I have to have like all of my all of my devices out to kind of jog my memory this is another series another series I talked about a lot here and ah the Winston Brothers series <laughs> I talked about them a lot in my favorites of 2017 video and I can't remember I feel like it was the third brother his book was just hysterical by Penny Reed highly recommend the entire series it's it's a lot of fun definitely gave me a lot of chuckles okay number six dramas a character who's a drama king slash queen Ooh, where to begin um Juliet from Shatter Me is definitely a drama queen. Yes, she's been through a lot, a lot of tragedy, a lot of trauma, but she is still very dramatic and over the top. That's the character that came to mind really fast. Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Corday from the audiobook I just finished, My Sister the Serial Killer. Very whiny. I don't know if I would call her drama queen, but just definitely very whiny and complains a lot about things that she then doesn't take any action against. So that's frustrating. Let me see, can I think of any other characters that are just over the top and crazy? Not right now. Okay, so I'm doing this off the cuff, so I'm forgive me for not being more prepared. Number seven, animated. A book with cartoons on the cover. Uh, I will post some of the covers of some of the graphic novels that I am currently reading. I wouldn't, it's hard because I wouldn't categorize graphic novels in the same category as cartoon. That's such a weird mental, it's, it's 
it's kind of jarring because when I think of a graphic novel, you realize, yes, they are cartoons, I guess, because they're drawings, but I just don't equate them the same. So that took me a little second to kind of rationalize. Number eight, watch it again. A book slash book series that you want to reread. There are a slew of books and book series that I want to reread this year, so I will be making a whole video to cover this, so stay tuned. Number nine, documentaries. A nonfiction book you'd recommend to everybody. I have a whole bunch. First of all, Becoming by Michelle Obama. It is phenomenal, phenomenal. I cannot say enough great things about this book. I recommend it to everyone. No matter your political beliefs, it is just an amazing, amazing book. Also, I recommend The Audacity of Hope by Barack Obama. I recently reread that and it, ugh, still so good. I'd also recommend Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. That is another wonderful nonfiction book. The Narrative of Frederick Douglass, great nonfiction book. Bone Black, Bone Black, one of my favorites. Yes, Bone Black, Memories of Girlhood by Bell Hooks. Oh, that's still one of my favorite nonfiction books to this day. To this day, to this day, to this day. Number 10, Action and Adventure, an action-packed book. The Princess Bride by William Goldman, Goldman, right? I love that book. It's one of my favorite movies of all time and it's also one of my favorite books of all time. Highly recommend. Number 11, new releases. A book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read. A book that just came out that I cannot wait to read is actually going to be our March book of the month for my book club. <laughs> We just decided our February book and then we unanimous, unanimously decided our March book because everyone's so hyped to read this book and it did just recently come out. Let's see, I don't want to get the author wrong. I have it in my Amazon cart. Black Leopard, Red Wolf, the Dark Star Trilogy. This is book one by Marlon James. This book has been just like talked about so much in the book community and it just recently came out. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'm so excited to have a reason to read it and reading it for the book club even better and finally number 12 tag someone so i'm gonna tag carrie from carrie the book bell i'm also going to tag mayana from my honor or little wolf reads i'm also going to tag Brittany from the melanin or melanin eclectic and i'm also going to tag troy nicole from nicole's book corner Let's see, who else can I tag? I will leave everyone else that I tag right up here on the screen and down in the description. Definitely go check it out. This is a fun tag if you haven't done it already. And yeah, let me know if you end up doing the tag and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.